Want to go gardening? Want to go gardening? Let's go plant garden. Hi, my name's Waylon Smalley. It is March 4th. It's still a little early, but we have a few things that we can put in that are cold hardy. We're going to plant some carrots. We're going to plant some beets, some cabbage, some radishes, some onions. My idea was we'd follow a garden from bed prep through planting, through the growth of the plants, all the way through harvest. I've seen a lot of videos where they put something in, a few months later, they might show you the same thing. I'd like to show you planting through harvest. A lot of this work's gonna take a little time, but I'm gonna keep it all on camera. The tedious stuff will speed up. Anytime there's something interesting to say, I'll slow down and we'll talk about it. Otherwise, I'll do some voiceovers throughout the whole thing. With that being said, let's get to planting. It's very tempting to go right up to the edge to start planting. You lose some of the benefits of the mulch if you get too close to the edge. It breaks down very quickly and you find yourself adding more and more mulch around the perimeter all year long. I did leave a little buffer. I'm going to plant some edible flowers this year to attract more bees and other pollinators to the garden. The camera was off just a little bit, so the close-up pictures of the first planting of the onions is missing. The shot was just of leaves, so this is what we came up with. Throughout this little segment, you'll see me going from bag to bag. We started with yellow onions, then red onions, then white onions. Quite a few of the onions in those bags were dried out and really papery even though they looked like they had sprouted some of those were discarded i was quite disappointed with the batch of onion seeds that i got this year we'll see if we get anything we may have to replant but i'm sure a few of those were pretty good what you missed in the close-up shot was how i plant seed onions we want to be down to the dirt, obviously. I was poking small holes about a knuckles deep, pushing the seed onions down into those holes, root down, obviously, making good contact with the earth. Then we come back and backfill just a little bit of soil and a little bit of mulch on top, and they'll come poking through directly. As soon as I finish this double row of onions, I head on back down to the other end to start opening up a couple more trenches so we can plant the rest of our seeds for today. Normally, the mulch is about four inches to stop any weeds from growing. As you can see with the double passes and as much material as I'm throwing out, I've got it quite a bit deeper. Going back to Ruth Stout in the last video, how much do you put down? More. There's one thing about gardening and videoing. You got to keep your battery charged. I got the rose dug. Took a little over an hour. It's probably better for me that you didn't get to see me huffing and puffing. We talked a lot about no-till. We talked a lot about the mulch. Now, if you're going to go to seed, you have to take it down to the dirt. That's why I dug back, threw the leaves out. It's pretty deep. The good thing is you can keep spreading them on out. We're gonna spread them back as soon as the seeds come up. But for right now, the soil is loose. We'll go ahead and, and sow some seeds, let them start germinating. And as they come up, we'll start gently backfilling with a little mulch. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have and let's start putting them in the ground. We're going to start with carrots and the good thing about some of these early crops you don't have to plant them real deep just like in nature seeds hit the top of the ground 
They pretty much do their thing. I've got a couple different varieties. We're gonna plant them pretty thick. We can go back through and thin them. One of the things you gotta worry about being this early being this wet is some of them molding out, some of them not germinating. Got a couple different varieties of beets. I'll finish that row up as soon as I uh, move the camera. Same thing, I plant these pretty heavy and we can thin them out. says I'm taking too long. the gardeners out there saying I'm doing it wrong. We'll see what we get. Just put a little bit over the top. this kaleidoscope blend. We had really, really good luck with that last year. As I described in the last video, all this organic material is just a mulch. You don't plant in it. You use it up around the plants once they come up. You have to get down to the soil. All this organic matter it feeds the soil, all the microrhizomes, the worms, all the microbial life, everything that helps feed the plants. Covering the entire garden in a thick mat of organic material allows it to compost in place. It's one of the easier ways to make compost. There are many different ways to compost and I've looked at quite a few of them and in future videos we'll describe those. The one that I liked the best was a, a man on a tropical island that took his ki kitchen scraps and threw them in the corner of his garden, changed corners every year, and at the end of the year he mixed that in. It sure seemed like a whole lot less work, a lot less turning, and some of the seeds that he took out of his kitchen actually grew fruit trees. A couple kinds of cabbages. Tell me if you hold your mouth just right, they'll come up. Kind of like fishing. In this last row I've got three different types of cabbage. Our traditional American cabbage which I use in chow chow. There's also bok choy, which stir fries really nice, and I have very good success with that. Now that I set it, it probably won't come up. I also have two different kinds of radishes. One has a white skin with a crimson center. That ought to be interesting.
We'll start the time lapse just as soon as something comes up. I'll lay odds it's one of the radishes. And that's all there is to it. Let's see what we get. Thank you for joining me today. I need some subscribes. I need some likes. We'll keep planting. Within the next 60 days, we'll have the entire thing planted. I hope you come along for the journey. See you later.